like everybody, repeat after me. The librarians want to help me. The librarians <laughs> want to help me. Louder. The librarians <laughs> want to help me. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> So moving on, databases. Most of you have already used the databases, yes? They want to be so helpful and they give you a citation. Isn't it perfect and beautiful and wonderful? Less work for you. Oh, but it's wrong. <laughs> oh, no. And these are stupid errors. Who cares if it's capitalized or not? MLA cares if it's capitalized and they seem insignificant. They will seem a lot more significant when you get your grade, I promise. <laughs> so just to sort of get ourselves into the mindset of demography this morning, um, I want us to take a minute, uh, if you have a piece of paper, take out a pen, and think about the place where you grew up. Okay, whether it's your neighborhood, whether it's the city you grew up in, or even the state. And think about some of the ways you might describe people in that area, some of the ways you might describe the population in that. All right, now go ahead and turn to your neighbor, and I want to give you one minute to talk about where you grew up, again, based on the demography of that location. Oh, All right, right, so we talked that. about the number of people, right? That's one of, that's our most basic uh, demographic characteristic. What are some of the other things that you use to describe your population? Yeah, income level. Income. What else? Race. Race. Slash ethnicity. What else? Age. on the screen here. Can anyone tell me what this is? It's a train ticket. How many have ridden on a train, seen a train, illegally boarded a train? Pretty much everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so really quickly, what kind of information can you tell by looking at this? Yeah. You can just start shouting it out. Destination. Destination, what else? It's Year. not in English. It's not in English, great. <laughs> Price, the date. Price the date. You can see that there's one adult riding. You can see when they're leaving, when they're arriving. So there are certain kind of basic pieces of information that we can tell by looking at this. What are some things we don't know by looking at this train ticket? Who is riding? Right. So we don't know who. What else don't we know? We don't know why. Those are the two big ones that we don't know from looking at this train ticket. And I like to think that using manuscript materials is a lot like looking at something in a foreign language. And so that's why I wanted to start with this Italian train ticket. Because there are certain things that we can automatically tell when we look at a manuscript document, and there are certain questions we can't answer. And we're going to start to go through that as we look at an Underground Railroad pass today. I want to open up with a question. You guys have computers in front of you. You might also have a smartphone. Um, you students may not be aware of this uh, great uh, online website that you can use to poll people, but you might have voted in American Idol before. Um, it's very similar to that. Or it could be a sentence. Just, you know, what, what drove you to study biology? Why did you choose that as your major? You know, did your mom make you? Um, is that your passion since birth? You know, some people really like birth. <laughs> Allergy is what drives life. The money, that's important sometimes. Cats rock. The way things are cool. My teacher made me, yeah. I enjoy being up to my help Sarah. Lots of people <laughs> love cats. <laughs>
Okay, so really what is Pinterest? I'm a visual person, so if Pinterest were my bag here, and I have a racket ball, racket, and I have a little spongy, and I have some craft paper, just put all these things out here, and this is one we did in Crafty Chips last week, last Wednesday we did fruit carving. We have a clock. How would we tie all of these things together in our bag? And we have a little butterfly puppet. <laughs> so we have a little. All things are interested in, or? Exactly. No. Yeah. <laughs> 